Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless to every single one of you. Today is September 2nd, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. So we have an urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here you have the U.S. President and Vice President heading to the Situation Room. All right, we're going to see what's going on here, guys. Uh, we have more information. Here we go. Uh, the president criticizes Benjamin over negotiation. All right, so I'm skipping certain names here on this one. Please follow me uh, with the code words. All right, so we have more information coming out. <sighs> the strike going on in Holy Land. All right, so let me show you the picture really quick. I mean, we're talking about thousands, thousands out there. Hmm. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here, guys. But uh, this is the big news. Um, today, Labor Day, um, the U.S. president and the vice president were called an emergency meeting. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we can now talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, so we're going to get to the uh, emergency meeting, uh, but let me just bring this up really quick here, guys. So once again, uh, you have the leader, the U.S. leader, stated that a final deal for the release of the innocent people that was held by certain groups in the GAZA strip is very close, but criticized Ben for not doing enough to secure the agreement. Wow. Guys, I hate to say this. I feel like those innocent I mean, it, it's bad news. Put it like that. I just feel like they're possibly all gone. I mean, it, Ben is not doing his best uh, bringing those innocent back home and reunite them with their families. So, once again, the U.S. may abandon its lead. Wow. And the strip ceasefire negotiation. If the Holy Land and this group do not accept a forthcoming final proposal. Hmm. Wow. And this is the reason why there are thousands of people out there. They are not pleased with Ben. So once again, you have the, I'm going to skip that name, Labor Federation chairman, uh, told the labor court that the general strike will end this evening at 6 p.m. It had been initially planned to end tomorrow at 6 a.m. Only seven flights have been able to depart from Ben Airport since the start of the strike action. Now, once again, the uh, protesting against Ben refusal to agree a innocent deal with the strip. All right, so again, follow me with the code words here, guys. I got suspended multiple times, so I'm trying to be very careful with certain words here. It's really sad nowadays. You can't say certain things. It's just, mm. and this is the reason why I'm showing all this here. Just follow me on this one, please. Just follow me on this one. Once again, you have the uh, U.S. and the VP, uh, the leaders, uh, plan to meet in the White House Situation Room on Monday, Labor Day. Along with uh, the U.S. Uh, innocent, I'm saying innocent here, innocent deal, negotiation team. After, wow, there were six. There were six. They found six B-O-D-I-E-S, including American citizen. 
my deepest condolence and prayers to the families and friends that lost their loved ones. I believe they sent a message. A message was sent. A message was sent, not only to the Holy Land, but also to the U.S. That's why they took out that, that sleeping giant citizen. They sent a message. So once again, you have the White House said the focus of the meeting is to discuss efforts to drive towards a deal that, se that secures the release of the remaining. The meeting is also closed to the press. <sighs> Guys, I just hate to say it, but I just feel like... I don't know. Again, you guys know what I'm trying to say here, but uh, I just feel like the rest of the innocent might not even be around. So it says here you have uh, mobs of uh, risers uh, took to the street in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv and other cities on Sunday. After, look at this, the B O D I E S of the innocent in a strip were returned to the Holy Land fueling frustration and anger towards the land's leadership for failing to achieve a deal to release the innocent ones. Unbelievable. Hmm. The Holy Land media reported that the crowds were estimated to be up to 500,000. Are you serious? Half a million? Half a million, half a million in major cities. Many, many of these uh, people demanded Ben do more. Do more to bring home the remaining 101. I mean, that man is going to be hated. And this is looking really bad for for the 4-6 administration. Reuters reported that the uh, Holy Land leadership estimates that nearly a third of the remaining are gone. I mean, that's what, again, that's what I mentioned. I, I just have a feeling that, I'm sorry to say it, but I don't know, guys. I just, I have this bad feeling. So while the... Uh, I'm saying risers here. Risers remain strong on Sunday. You have labor leaders called on workers to be part of a one-day strike on Monday. We are getting... Oh, my goodness. We are getting the B-O-D-Y bags. We are getting bags instead of deal. We must reach a deal. A deal is more important than anything else. The problem here is that Ben is more focused on trying to take out H-A-M-A-S. All right, so once again, you have the Labor Federation in the Holy Land, main labor union that represents hundreds of thousands of workers. A uh, call for a one-day strike was supported by manufacturers and tech entrepreneurs in the country. Now, Holy Land Military announced that the uh, the bags of innocence, man, a 40 years old, a 23 years old, a 24 years old, a 32 years old, 27 years old, and 25 years old, man, young, were recovered from a tunnel. A And that's the reason why they are having a meeting right now in the Situation Room. What's next? What's next? I guarantee Joe is on the phone yelling at Ben saying, What is wrong with you? This is, uh, this is very, very sad. That's where we are right now. 
Now Ben uh, came out and said there would be harsh response and. Uh, I just feel like this thing is going to hit the fan. This thing is going to hit the fan. It's going to hit and it's going to hit really, really hard. That Mideast is going to be fire. I mean, it's going to be fire, guys. I mean, you have uh, certain lands out there are preparing. They are ready. And this thing is going to be really hot. Really hot. That's why you have Persia. Iran, Persia has not struck yet. They haven't struck yet. So we're going to see what, uh, what's going to happen. Oh, by the way, we have breaking news updates. Persa said they will strike after November election. Persa will strike. Give me a second here. And I know I keep saying that, guys, but uh, again, it's, you know, it's not. Again, I'm just putting out the information. Put it like that. Give me a second here. Let me just pull up the uh, breaking news here. Give me one second. Let me just do something here. I have to block something. I have to block something. I have to. All right. So I have to block something. And the reason why I do this is so I don't get hit by this platform I got hit multiple times it was really bad guys really bad uh, email the platform but again their policy is just out of control all right so here we go so it says here there are rumors that uh, Persian leadership have decided to postpone their retaliatory strike on the Holy Land until after November all right so this is where we are right now. I would keep it updated on the, again, the situation room. I mean, that thing is going to be tight-lipped. Tight-lipped. No press, nothing. I mean, very important people right now uh, in a situation room. And, um, yeah, just continue praying for a lot of people. Uh, pre uh, prep yourself and get ready. Uh, these biblical wars are mentioned in scriptures. Uh, Jesus mentioned in the Gospel of Luke chapter 21 that uh, there would be nation against nation and kingdom against kingdom and um even romans chapter one god has given up people and even countries to a reprobate mind we are witnessing so many bible prophecy events the book of daniel i mean we are witnessing the book of jeremiah ezekiel uh gog and mega i mean we are seeing it we are living it we are witnessing everything just happening all at the same time jesus said put on the Whole armor of God and prepare yourself. I'm coming and stay sober minded. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.